Captain Rhea Averon gripped the armrest of her command chair as the stars outside blurred into streaks of light. The USS Celestial Horizon, a sleek silver vessel equipped with state-of-the-art weaponry, hurtled through the cosmos at hyperjump speed. They were deep in the midst of a relentless battle against the Vraxian Dominion, a belligerent alien faction with a thirst for conquest. The humans would not back down. These bullies had raided nearby defenseless colonies for far too long and needed a swift kick, the space nuts. The bridge buzzed with activity as crew members manned their stations. Tactical officers plotted trajectories, engineers monitored power levels, and communications experts relayed messages in the cacophony of interstellar warfare. The celestial dance was marred by deadly intent. The hyperjump maneuver was meant to be their escape, a desperate bid to evade the overwhelming Vraxian forces. However, the jump coordinates had been compromised, and the celestial horizon emerged in the midst of a cosmic maelstrom. Enemy ships loomed on every side, their grotesque designs casting ominous shadows across the void. The first barrage hit them before Captain Averon could issue a counterattack. The celestial horizon shuddered as energy beams and projectiles tore through its shields. Alarm klaxons blared, drowning out the cries of injured crew members. On the view screen, the celestial canvas transformed into a kaleidoscope of destruction. As the captain regained focus, reports came flooding in. Captain, shields at 30%, shouted Lieutenant Commander Kale Dre, the ship's tactical officer. Return fire! Captain Averon commanded, her voice cutting through the chaos. The celestial horizon unleashed a torrent of plasma beams and particle projectiles weaving through the enemy formation. Explosions bloomed like earthquakes and erupting volcanoes as Vraxian vessels succumbed to the onslaught. Yet, victory seemed elusive. The Vraxians, relentless in their pursuit, closed in for the kill. Captain Averon accessed the tactical console, her fingers dancing over holographic controls. The ship's arsenal displayed on the screen, photon torpedoes, plasma cannons, and the last resort titanium missile battery. Load the titanium missiles. We'll make our stand, Captain Averon declared, a steely resolve in her eyes. The titanium missiles were a weapon of last resort, capable of unleashing devastating power but at a cost. Once fired, there was no turn, turning back. The crew knew the risks, and as the loading process commenced, an air of solemn determination settled over the bridge. The celestial horizon banked and weaved, dodging enemy fire as the titanium missiles prepared for launch. Reports streamed in from damaged sections of the ship. Casualties were rising, and engineering reported critical failures in the warp drive. Escape seemed increasingly unlikely. Captain, they're targeting our engines. We won't be able to make another jump, warned Commander Dre. Captain Averon's gaze hardened. Hold steady, everyone. On my mark, fire the titanium missiles. The ship's weapons array glowed ominously as the titanium missiles were armed. The Vraxian onslaught intensified, their ships closing in like vultures circling wounded prey. Now, Captain Averon ordered. The celestial horizon unleashed its final defiance. The titanium missiles streaked through space, leaving a trail of brilliance in their wake. They impacted with a force that rippled through the cosmic battlefield, obliterating Vraxian vessels in a cataclysmic display of wild, seething vengeance. The bridge fell silent as the dust settled. The celestial canvas, once marred by the chaos of battle, now bore the scars of a hard-fought victory. The USS Celestial Horizon, battered and bruised, floated among the debris of the fallen. Captain Averon surveyed the aftermath. The Vraxians had been dealt a heavy blow, but at a great cost. The once pristine vessel was now a wounded titan, its crew weary but victorious. Damage report, Captain Averon ordered. Lieutenant Commander Dre, his expression grave, relayed the grim reality. 
casualties across multiple decks, warp drive inoperative, shields offline, but Captain were still standing. Captain Averon nodded, her gaze unwavering. Send a distress signal. We may be battered, but we're not broken. And tell the crew, we'll rebuild and we'll face these bastards with our resilience till our last breath, for we are humanity fuck yeah. Let that echo out across the universe. Let that reach those who wish to stamp us out. 